Hey there, it's Aviva from Elementor. Welcome back to how to build a blog in Elementor. In the previous lesson, we learned how to use and modify archive pages. And in this lesson, we'll learn how to edit and enable the page not found error, commonly known as a 404 page. The 404 page is displayed when a visitor reaches a page that doesn't exist. A visitor may reach this page in a variety of ways, such as by typing in an incorrect URL, clicking an outdated link, or if the page slug or site permalink structure has changed. However they've been taken there, the 404 page lets our visitors know that they've reached this page in error and can offer helpful suggestions on how to proceed. So let's see how we can set up an effective 404 page. Our kit already comes installed with a 404 page template, so we'll start by opening it and reviewing any necessary changes. Click Edit. Okay, let's take a look. This template comes with a great structure, including an image, two headings, a text editor widget, and a button. But there are a few things we can tweak to give our visitors a hand and not leave them stranded on this page. The first thing we'll do is update this image to one of Xander's. Then we'll change the second heading to something a little more friendly and encouraging. And we'll update the text copy to guide our visitors to their next step. Lastly, we'll confirm that our 404 page is enabled on our site. Click to view the display conditions. And we can see that our template is already set to be recognized as our site's 404 page. Perfect. Now we'll save and close and preview our page. Some other ideas to add value to our 404 page are to promote a product or support a cause, link to cornerstone articles, popular posts on social media, and other calls to action. And that's it. Our 404 page is all set for anyone who stumbles upon it and ready to guide them back home. In the next lesson, we'll create a landing page to showcase our most important links to link to from our social media profiles. Click to continue watching and see how.